What is going on right now? Oh, baby. Hope you're doing well. Today is Friday, and I had a thought what would be better than ending the week off with the greatest packs on Earth. We're going to do one million worth of get a gold in the hunt to pull a golden ticket from get a gold players man strap in boys let's get it what it do youtube it's your boy 13 we are back with another madden nfl video and today we have a million worth of get a gold so we're gonna go ahead and tap in here see if these packs are still really good if you didn't see my video yesterday it was my first video i dropped in over a month I have officially arrived in Houston. I've been here for a little bit over a week now, almost two weeks, honestly. We opened a bunch of packs yesterday and it wasn't that great. But before we get into it, make sure you know the routine. Make sure you like the video and comment down below as well if you are excited for Madden 22 and what you're looking forward in the new game, what new features you want to see, maybe keep some things you like, some things they should get rid of. And don't forget to sub on the way out, man. Help your boy get to, uh, let's say 2,000 subs by the end of Madden 21. That kind of dampered our hope to get to 5,000. By the end of Man 21, since we were off for a month, but that's okay. Help your boy get to 2,000 by the end of Man 21, so we can start Man 22 off with an absolute bank. So we're going to go in here. We're going to do a million worth of get a goals. We're going to also talk about some questions you guys have had when it comes to how it was a move, things like that. I'll explain where I live, how it went, go into a little bit more detail on it. So let's rip some packs, shall we? I got a million worth of get a goals that we're going to do. I am probably going to warm up the packs a little bit maybe do we have the nfl draft packs but i really don't want to do those because those suck elite player packs suck game changers suck i mean they all they're not really good let's go ahead and finish off these game changers and then we'll probably do a couple pro fantasy packs just so i can lose coins even quicker and then we'll go ahead and do the get a get a golds of course get a golds are the way to go if you're ever ripping packs i mean at this point in madden if you just want to rip whatever packs you have if you have a bunch of coins think about selling them think about getting rid of them just blowing them at this point nothing's going to be dropping i don't think they're going to have any more promos usually with madden they stop doing anything with the last like a month and a half two months before the new one drops um but we're starting off decent lights give me 96 90 john lynch we got 87 russell wilson that wasn't terrible it's very rare to make coins back in this day and age just because there are what i think 95s don't even go for 50k 96s might so you need to pull like a 96 plus in order to make 50k back. I mean, it is very possible to pull some heat out of these things. It's just yesterday just weren't that good for me. And it looks like today is the same thing. Come on, baby. Just, ugh, dude, give me an orange redux. Give me 95. 85 Vince Young. 82 D Watt. This is going to be 82 Chris Samuels. 81 Shazier. 83 Warren Sapp. I think Warren Sapp got an upgrade too, if I'm not mistaken. I'm sorry if the audio still sounds a little bit off. I'm still tweaking it. The plugin that I use to make it sound like more bassier that you guys are used to hearing me sound, it's not currently working. So I don't know if it has to be updated or anything like that. Uh, I was trying to work on it for like an hour earlier, but I just could not seem to get it. So if anyone has any tips, oh, Kyle Pitts, that's actually a really good pull. Those 93s go for like 80k right now. So that is a W. We will take that. We're going to make some coins off this one. We got a couple 83s in this one. 82 Pat Watkins again. We're going to go ahead and keep so we can build sets with them. Uh, I don't know what the sets are looking like anymore. I'm going to have to do that when I do Redux Hunters, Golden Ticket Hunters, all that. We'll do that. So we're going to get, could be good, Darnell Mooney, my boy. Uh, Mooney there, 83 Bettis, 86. Last one of the bunch is going to be 87 Landon Collins. They weren't that great. They weren't that amazing. We got one really, really good pull out of that, which was a Kyle Pitts, just because it's a good pull. One, he's just super expensive. That's it. That's all you can really get out of him. Let's just jump into the Get a Golds, man. I'm excited for this. We are definitely due up for a 99 out of Get a Golds. I know that. We've been ripping tons of Get a Golds before we even left. I'm talking like million, two million, three millions, five million worth of Get a Golds. And I feel like it's it, time is coming that we are going to be due up to pulling something big. Now, let's talk about the move. So, as a lot of you guys know, and what I mentioned yesterday, I have relocated. I moved from Albuquerque. Le'Veon Bell. Oh, the greatest packs on earth still. We got 96 Le'Veon Bell there. First good pull. We just started too. Like, we literally, this could be incredible. Let's just hopefully they keep the same energy farther into it because usually how get a golds work that i've noticed either you start out the gate really good um and then the back end aren't that amazing or the back end is really really good and this and the beginning is really really slow so we'll see how it goes but i moved from albuquerque to houston people were asking like what part of houston i live in i live in clear lake uh, which is like a suburb or county in houston so it's like the southwest i think worth the houston we, we live about 30 minutes from downtown which is pretty nice if we want to go somewhere 
uh we can just take a car ride over there because we obviously brought our cars down here so the drive isn't too too bad the freeways here are dis just insane hey, i've never seen freeways like that there's freeways on top of freeways on top of freeways underneath freeways it's it's crazy out here um but the transition so how it all started is we got here um the last time i think the last time i streamed was the last time i actually played madden because i recorded like six or seven videos from there after that 91 taylor mays will take that after that we went ahead and we started packing up everything uh we got a, our pod on a monday and then we had to get everything out of our house into the pod by tuesday because we had like a move out cleaners coming which they just come in and clean the whole house make sure it looks good for showing uh so we got that all done we got rid of a lot of stuff because we were downgrading in size we had a house that was like 2,000 square feet we moved it down to like a 1300 square foot home so we had to get rid of some stuff but we did that on the tuesday we had people come in clean the house out make it look good for the showing wednesday same thing carpet cleaners all that getting everything had the house ready since we were going to be selling our house uh that thursday was kind of a down day for me so i was able to 94 rondell Moore. thursday was kind of a down day for me so i could kind of just i kept my pc i wish i kind of kept one monitor with me um or my xbox but it's just since i had three dogs and two cats and a bunch of stuff that we we're gonna drive over since we weren't gonna get our pod for at least a few days after we got here i didn't have room for it or i would have still streamed it just would have looked really really weird 90 jimbo oh my boy would have streamed and stuff and still did videos but it was just it's just too much it was just easier for put it on the pod get it over here and uh and go from there so after we got the pod out the pod left that end of that week when we were busy and doing everything uh that weekend uh saturday is when our house went on the market and it sold the same day thankfully uh it went really really well we had an open house got a couple offers we took the best one that was going to be beneficial for both parties more importantly me uh and and we got rid of it so it's it's currently pending sale of course if you haven't sold a home before how it works is when you sell a home it takes like 45 30 to 45 days depending on what the offer is if it's a cash offer it goes a little bit quicker if it's not it takes about 45 days so we sold it and that was the biggest thing is we wanted to at least have the house pending sale before we actually left to houston because it's pretty stressful if you kind of up and leave your place because you still have to pay mortgage or rent or whatever on that place as well as a new one luckily we got to we got a buyer for it pretty pretty quickly so that was good on our part good news everything's still going well with it uh the inspection's been done the appraisal's been done all that now it's just a waiting period we should be closing here in a couple of weeks and then i'm officially have nothing to look forward to or look back to in albuquerque i can focus everything on here um and then after that we stayed in albuquerque for about another week after we sold our house but what was kind of nice that we did sell our house too a plus side was these packs saw it spoke too soon 92 we'll take it but the kind of plus side of it selling the first day is we didn't have to worry about you know other showings coming throughout the week people coming in and out of the house and us having so many animals taking them out of the house driving around for a little while while people go look at the house uh for selling it was kind of nice that it was done just first day we put it up and that next week we stayed another week after that in albuquerque spent time with friends spent time with family uh saw a lot of people said bye and everything uh so we just kind of had a nice chilled time the last week in albuquerque went to our favorite restaurants that we were gonna miss and then that was it from there we packed up on a monday i think it was monday like afternoon we were supposed to leave earlier on monday morning but one of our dogs was sick so we had to leave a little bit later so we left about Monday afternoon. We drove about eight hours and stayed somewhere in the middle of Texas where I had no idea where the hell I was. Stayed the night there. Then the next day, got back on there and, uh, and and got to Houston. Now, when we first entered Houston, when we first got here, um, it, I've never seen rain like it before. I could not see anything in front of me like, like this far. Like, it was crazy. It was just insane, like how strong it was. 89 there as well. We got there safely from there uh uh my wife's sister came into town the day after it was her birthday and she didn't have anything to do so she thought she'd come to houston and uh spend time with us help us unpack and stuff so she came down and uh when she got here we just kind of had fun we went out went to the zoo went to downtown went to a couple bars got a lot of good food so far i've had barbecue which was really really good 
there's a pizza shop out here that's very very good uh there's also these korean corn dogs which are the weirdest shit ever right korean corn dogs it's like half you can either get like a full mozzarella stick or like a half mozzarella stick half hot dog together and then they deep fry it of course into a corn dog and then they add a bunch of toppings it is very very good uh that was one of the best things that i ate so far uh seafood hits so good out here man we don't get that stuff here uh out in albuquerque so i'm very very happy with it it's very busy a lot of people here uh, i didn't know like houston had over two million people in its area and i was like that's crazy to me because albuquerque had like 500 600 000, so it's a little bit of a, a difference but it's been raining every every day since we've been here i swear it rains all the time here but i'm having a good time i am having a good time but that was like the little show as we're gonna get 87 daryl williams that's kind of like a quick rundown on how everything went uh the move just getting everything organized it was it wasn't as stressful as i thought uh there was some stressful parts but it, it was all in all it was pretty good i've had fun i've had a really really good time uh, i've been here for almost about two weeks i'll give you guys an update probably in like three six months and uh we'll we can kind of go over and see if I still like it. But so far, so good, man. I have no complaints. Just the weather. It's nice. There's no wind. I guess the only complaint I do have are mosquitoes, man. They can go fuck themselves, honestly, because those things just do not leave you alone, dude. I got ripped. Like the first two nights I was here, my feet, ankles were just ripped apart by them. Uh, Thanksgiving card. Where are we at? I've been blabbling for the last 13 minutes. 127 left. Dang, we barely tapped into this. Let's go. 88 Dante Hall. Huh? But you guys know the routine at this point. You guys have been seeing everything just because we've been talking a little bit. I'm going to show you guys pretty much anything like 87 or above. Uh, we started off again hot with Le'Veon Bell. But then it's died out dramatically since then. Anything 87 or above you're going to see. The rest you don't even got to worry about it, man. I'll see you soon. Dude. I'll take an 88 Bo Jackson. Let's go. Dude, give me a full one right now. Okay, my golf slot. That guy needs an upgrade too. 98. I don't even know how to say his name. Wow. So we get a 98 overall. See, well, W, big, big pool, man. It's not a 99, but it's a 98, which is about our halfway mark, too. We have a 96. 98 is the highest overall currently. I've only ever pulled a couple 98s out of this. John Randall was one of them when he first dropped, which was a really, really good pull because he was very expensive. Other than that, I may not remember if I've pulled any other ones. I'm sure if you if you guys remember if I pulled any other like 98 pluses, drop a comment. But I don't remember. I think that's like the second 98 I've ever pulled. That's a big boy pull. We will take that. Of course, I'm still on the hunt for a golden ticket. 88 Linval Joseph will take that. Still on the hunt for a golden ticket out of these things. Halfway through, I'll see you soon. 90 Eric Weddle. I just flew right by that one. Dude, be 95. 92 brian pool it's just crazy like get it goals are really good i feel like they're probably the best pack in the game value wise i've always said that and they'll probably be the best pack in the game next year just because we know how madden works madden typically adjust packs some are good for a couple days and then they'll tank them and get a goals have always been just that consistent consistently good pack i don't remember how many 99s i've pulled out of get it golds but it's not that many like 98 pluses are very, very rare. And you would think this far into the game that the odds would go up a little bit. Um, 87 Ronnie Harrison, God f me. What do you mean by that? A3, hold on, let me fix my camera. As I was saying, I just don't feel like you get a lot of 98 pluses out of Get A Gold Man. I know it's 76 overall and the odds are a little bit slimmer, but uh, I th you think you would pull a little bit more, right? Or maybe I'm crazy, I have no idea. Dude, I forget the animation's fixed now on him. 93 walter jones we'll take that they fixed the animation for the ultimate legend so now when you get a 99 like sean taylor things the the players that had the glitched animation for it um they were fixed so now they'll get rings so when you get the lower overalls just know that you're getting a lower piece it's not one of those like maybe i got a 99 i know they fixed that and that was a while ago but it's news to me 91 Steve McLendon. Another great thing that I'm happy for with living in Houston now is I can actually go to sports games. That's a big thing. Uh, I can see the Texans, even though they're probably going to go 0 and 17 because they're trash and they don't have any good players. I plan on seeing them when they play the Titans because I know they'll play them twice. So I'll see Julio, Derrick Henry. They play Seattle as well. 
which I want to see. They play it. I believe it's in Houston, but the big one is Rams. If you don't know Worldy, if you guys are new to the streams or you haven't been to the streams, link in the description. Worldy, Mark, my boy, my best friend, he's a big Rams fan, so he's actually coming down here uh, in October. They play Halloween night. It's Rams and, and Texans. They play on Halloween. I think it's night or day. I don't think it's a night game. I'm pretty sure it's a day game. But he'll be down here for about three or four days to come watch the game. We'll take him out. We'll, we'll, he'll hang out with us for a few days, but I'm excited for that. But that's a good thing. I get the Rockets as well if I want to see basketball games and astros cheaters but it's okay there's that's the one thing about houston is i thought they'd be big on texans big on the rockets we're gonna get 87 quill mac there are, i've seen a lot more astros stuff than i have texans and rockets maybe because the astros are good supposedly but they take astro stuff very very seriously so i've already had a conversation about their their stuff with their cheaters and, and everything they don't like it too much they try to like pretend it didn't happen but it happened so it is what it is. 35 left. Lights. LT. See you soon. Oof. 93. 88 John Randall. Where are we at? We're winding down, right? 18 more. 18 more. I hope you guys enjoyed the little TED Talk. Everything. Uh, back to back Ultimate Legends. Wow. I don't even get that in uh, John. That's the weirdest thing I've ever seen in my life. The same. Out of the thousands. I don't even know how many cards are in this game. You think there's 10,000 cards in this game? But the fact that they did back to back of the same exact card feels like it broke time and space but i hope you guys enjoyed the video man i hope you guys enjoyed the get it golds uh all the little ted talk that i had on how we got here how everything went people were asking questions how everything went and where we went what part of houston if we like it and i, I thought i'd clear up the air and let you guys know a little bit uh in regards to streams i don't know when streams are going to start again i do want to stream but it probably won't be madden because madden's dead um unless you guys want to watch me do like a redux hunters or golden ticket hunters just leave a comment below and i can probably stream those um but for the most part i'm probably just going to end up streaming like call of duty i haven't played with mark yet i've been super busy i've only been doing i barely just got like my stuff set up as you guys know when i record a video yesterday and today so that's all i've been had enough time for was just like recording videos for you guys to get all the rust off and take care of everything i feel like i'm very very rusty when i was editing yesterday it was it wasn't as fluent i felt like confused and lost but that will come in time we'll be good 76 overall two more dude one more big pull just one more like one more like 85 plus i'll be happy with no last one last one and we'll be good it's gonna walk us off with the gold man if you like the video make sure you like the video comment down below as well if you have any questions or what you're doing and hey i hope you're doing well and don't forget to sub on your way out man help your boy get to 2000 subs by the end of man's 21 so we start man 22 out with an absolute bang stay happy stay healthy guys tell your mama tell your daddy catch you guys on the next video